Hey, what it is? It's your boy Slim 400, Hub City Compton, pushing the label. If y'all niggas didn't know, shout out to allhiphop.com. Well, basically, the blaming on the streets was like a day in the life of YG life and damn near my shit too. So he did a scene from the song um, Meet the Flockers, which is the breaking in the house part. And um, I did the scene with the street shit, getting into it with niggas, just on some going to the store type shit from off the BPT. So he just based a little short film off them two songs off his album, My Crazy Life. And we came with the short film. I was basically me, Slim 400. That was my character, which is um, basically myself. And shit, learned my lines, did my shit. You know what I mean? Blame it on the streets. If you don't got it, you better go get it. You feel me? Turn up. Like I was telling somebody earlier, this basically hanging on the block, bro. You know what I mean? I'm really from Spruce Street. That's in Compton, California. If, if people didn't know where I'm from, I say Bonthin, you feel me? Like this from my whole little area, my whole little neighborhood. So um, one of my partners just gave me the 400 because it's like it's a lot of slims out here that's in the industry or just up and coming on some just regular nickname shit. Slim this or Slim Shady or, you know what I mean? So niggas say Slim 400. That's for sure like separating the two, you feel me? Like what the 400 mean, my block? Where your block at? California? Like, what city? Compton? Like, oh, yeah, what neighborhood? Treetop? Like, that part. To keep it short and simple, bro, like, like we do get in tune with one another, you feel me, about minor things. And as homies, you gonna have your likes and your dislikes. And apparently in this situation, it went a little too far because of the social media nowadays, and everybody wanna make a big deal out of nothing. But at the end of the day, niggas talked about it as men, and, you know, got it over with, did what they had to do, right back in the the club the next day on some like bringing in the new year you know what i mean so we was bringing the new year together you know what i mean out back in la turned the fuck up all of us so like i say when you when your team is strong you know something you can work around things and you know what i mean overcome some shit when your team is weak and you don't got no type of like no type of guidance no type of big homie love supports no nobody telling you nothing is letting y'all do what y'all want to do and y'all bumping heads Shit gonna fall out So our team as of right now is, is hella strong You know what I mean So niggas do listen to one another Niggas do take certain advice on certain levels When it when it's coming from different homies within our camp We don't take everybody advice But certain niggas within our camp We get a benefit of the doubt To see what he feel about this certain situation So everybody voice their opinion Cut this out Do this We big in the life And nigga We all homies So fuck all that Fuck the social media We gonna stick together as us And Right here, bro. You know what I mean? It ain't no beef.